silly me.
There we go. There we go. Oh, so if I put that right, oh, that's going to be a booger to run that hose. So maybe right there. Straight up, run a T. Yeah, I think right there. To get some some bolts. and run these in. extension. That'll work. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that'll do. Let's do some. Oh. Well, it's not. It's just I want it in different areas in the shop where I can hook up. Because um, I do plan on buying a bigger air compressor. Because even with just the pneumatic drill here, this uh, eats up a lot of uh, air quickly. So I'm doing this first, and then the next purchase will be the uh, uh, bigger air compressor. Uh, what I can afford. <laughs> I'm hoping for like a 60 gallon or something like that. That's what I'm.
so that's what I'm hoping for anyway. What size is that? So, yeah, I mean, they go on sale pretty pretty regularly for the uh for the compressors. But then it's just be like, what brand am I going to get? Cuz I'm not really like impartial or partial to any particular brand. But I don't want to go like super cheap or anything. Yeah, but I don't want to go super cheap. And there's always air compressors on uh, Craigslist. That's one thing you can guarantee that you'll find on Craigslist is air compressors. That's for sure. But most of the time, the ones you do see have been worked hard and never maintained. So, buyer beware. Hate it when you put it in the wrong hole.
Because I'm always on Craigslist and all those Facebook marketplaces and all those other things. Checking the, for tools, see if there's any good deals going on. Yard sales, estate sales. Those sorts of th sales. Oh, it is nice outside. A little gloomy right now because it's been raining most of the day. But that's okay. It's not like I wanted to mow today anyway. It just gives me an excuse. Of not to mow. So much prep work. It's on the Teflon tape. It puts on the Teflon tape.
Not much breeze coming through here as I was earlier. I did. I had to, yes. I had to run to the store to get some fittings. And then when I came back, I got a phone call and I need to rearrange my button, button settings on my stream deck because I accidentally pushed in stream instead of unmute mic, which is sil sillyly close to my... <laughs> The, uh, the mute mic is right next to the in stream and go live button, which is kind of silly on my part, so I need to move it on my stream deck. Okay. Oh, it's okay. You can be a little worried. I'll allow it. Okay. All right. All of those are together. So we got that run there, and that's going to need to go a T. So, I'm going to have to start flattening out some tube, which that's not too bad. Give you a workout, I'll tell you what. long I need to make this. Oh, about 57. 57. Marker. That's pretty easy, so that's nice. I 
That's quite nice. I want to put this T on first before I put it up there. There it is. Oh, would you look at that? I need a bigger wrench. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Well, would you? Would you just look at that? I'm going to need my bigger ladder. Bigger ladder. Got the bigger ladder. Hey, Frank, how you doing? How's your day going? Hello from the other side. Is that how it goes? Right? That's how it goes, right? I'm doing fantastic. You two behave. Play nicely. not fit on the top of my car. It's 
So what are you uh, what are you making? That, uh, you got to go pick up the wood. That's pretty. That's nice. Fancy. Kind of jelly. Kind of jelly. That's not bad. How thick is it? Oh, is it? I was just admiring its beauty. I would be too. Let's see what you sent there. Oh, repurpose legs. Ooh, those are nice. That's going to be very, very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> it sounds like an excellent plan. I am. I got the uh, the rapid air kit. And I've been eyeballing this kit for a while. Because it had really good reviews. And it actually comes with quite nice fittings and everything. And a lot of airline which is uh, is nice as well and it's it's cheaper than trying to piece everything together yourself
Yeah, I had just one hose reel, so it wasn't ideal. Uh, and I find I've been wanting this for a while, and I finally just went ahead and bit the bullet today uh, with it. So it was kind of a okay northern tool had it i checked it and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it <laughs> you think she's going to let you? <laughs> You're going to catch her using your uh, airline to uh, clean up the house. She's going to be like, open the windows. We give it a good blowdown. This is true. This is true. Okay. Now for the hose reel. Let me get that positioned so I put that where I want it. And then I'll know where I want to put. Oh, okay. Well, I mean. Ooh, out of cherry. <laughs> if uh, if my old lady's out here, it's because she wants me to make her something, and she's trying to explain it. Otherwise, I'm doing all the stuff, all the stuffs. But that's okay. I don't mind it. She lets me do what I want out here. I get the pretty much the entire garage to do whatever I want with. So, I'm not going to complain at all. <laughs> I'm always thinking about dust collection. I am always thinking about... <laughs> yes, you do. I will concur. 
I'm always thinking about uh, where I'm going to put my uh, my dust collection. It's going to make it a lot easier now. I put these little rafters up here for the uh, uh, Ooh, that's an interesting idea. I'm going to turn this around. <laughs> Sounds like you should be selling tickets to that. The Robot Wars of the Workshop. Boom. Shaka Laka. Actually, perfect height right there. So now I need to go from here to chair. Ugh, another a bit of a weapon. And that's going to be... Roughly let's go with nine feet. Nine feet. Definitely a workout to get this tubing to what you need. Oh man.
Whew. That's a workout. Probably gonna have to buy a, a bigger compressor sooner rather than later. I think that is going to be the plan. Um, I'm, I'm thinking you're correct, but it just gives me an excuse to get a, be a bigger co a compressor, right? It's just a reason. Put some uh, some clips up there. Hold it so I'm not sitting there trying to finagle this silly thing while it's just floating. Standing precariously on top of the router table. OSHA, look away.
almost like I know what I'm doing, sort of. Not really, though. I'm winging it. Uh, that's the win. Win brand. W E N. I do like it. I think it's the more expensive one. Because the, uh, the wife got it for me as a, as a, hey, what if you could get anything type thing. Would you want this or this? And I gave her a list of a bunch of other stuff. Tell you what. If you don't have this pipe perfectly straight, it does not want to hold in those, uh, in the little clips that they provide. Yeah. One hundred and forty. What do you mean one hundred and forty? Are you talking about scrapping still?
Same here. You never see me sanding. I never do any sanding. You never see sanding on this stream. <laughs> uh, so I have yet to change it, but I will take out uh, the main filter there and I'll hit it with an air compressor from the backside and bang it out, get a little more life out of it. But, uh, yeah, that's just what I do. Yeah, because uh, when you take that out, it's got the, those other uh, filters in there. This is like the, uh, like almost like a, your air filter on your house. But I'll just take it and give it a little tappity tap every once in a while. Get the big stuff out of there. And then I'll take, uh, yeah. And then uh, I'll take the air compress it to it more often. Yes. Absolutely. This one has, I mean, I still got dust everywhere. I mean, you can't get, once I get my actual dust collection piped in, I think with that and that, it will be a lot better. Yeah, but once I get my actual piping in for my dust collection, I think that will, uh,
be a lot better. That's why I really want to get my, my, my stuff piped in. My dust collection. Because I think with the combination of the both, it will be a lot better. It does. Dust does happen. I will concur. I got pretty high ceilings myself. So I think we're in the same boat, Sasaki. Because even where I'm standing is still not the tippy top. Perfect. Oh, man. Well, I had no say in these rafters. This was, this was part of it when I bought the house.
go. Now for the, oh, better plug that in. There we go. <laughs> no garage. Ich. Plus nine, twenty five. Let's go with thirty feet. Ugh. to go to the gym or anything just get some of this piping and straighten it out So that's only 17 feet. So I'm going to need to run that way so I can get 30 feet of it. Hey! Probably should have done that measuring thing before I uh, started unraveling this. A drink of water.
go round the table as the world turns. How far am I? Getting there. Okay, I am all the way out my other door. Let's get the good old laser beam. All right. I need shocks with freaking laser beams. Okay, let's put up some some clips. Clip clip clips. Got a screw loose. Oh, oh, got a clip loose. Ooh. Oh man. Why do you have to be in the way, workbench? I need to get you get right over. I'm just not tall enough.
I need to be a smidge taller. <laughs> uh, I don't own any ladders that say this is not a step. I get the, uh, the special edition ones. Because I don't know about you, where you shop for ladders, but whenever I get ladders, none of mine say this is not a step. <laughs> Touche. I would call OSHA too if I were you. Their number is 8675309. 8675309. Come on. Come on, ladder. Work with me here. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. I got too much stuff. Ooh. Seems like every time I turn around, I got to move piles of lumber. Uh, so that's basically just there. So if it doesn't fall forward, uh, every, all those shelves are pretty darn level. So I'm not really worried about those boards falling off. That's just to keep it from uh, shifting. I mean, it's, it's screwed in there. There's screws in it, in places. Uh, so these are all old uh, barn wood, old oak barn wood. I know you are. I know you are. And I enjoy it. Ah. 
A little. I mean, they're up there pretty good. I, I've removed all the nails and everything from them. So, at least all the nails I could see. It is. I haven't used it for anything. I, I acquired it uh, with that, uh, that magic free 99 price. And uh, here it sits. Been almost, uh, let's say about two years it's been up there. Because I've only been in the house for three. amazing what you can accumulate in a short time frame in a house because my previous workshop was uh, a one and a half car garage so so pretty small um, and I had because <laughs> my because uh, I had okay okay we'll be quiet for a little while don't want to get you in trouble I know how that is Wouldn't want you to get into tr trouble. <laughs> so my little old shop that I got out of was just a little a one and a half car garage and I had almost a good majority of these tools in there. It was pretty cramped. Let's all go. <laughs> tools on lettuce? Okay. Lettuce is buying new tools for everyone. Everything is good, lettuce. Everything is good. And so, Jan, we are putting in a uh, airline system for the uh, garage, so or the workshop. Ugh. Us. So I bought this kit right here by uh, Rapid Air. Uh, I got this. It's called Rapid Air. Is the brand not sponsored? Um, I've been eyeballing this kit for a while for uh, uh, airlines in the workshop, and I finally pulled the trigger this morning on getting it. A one-way lathe. Oh, Bad Dad's going big. And uh, so that's what we're doing. We have all of our, our goodies here on the table. There we go. So right now what we're doing is running 
the hose. We've gotten quite a bit ran already. We're doing the, the one run coming around towards the lathe because I want to hook up over here by the lathe. Uh, I already moved the uh, hose reel to the middle. So uh, you know what an air compressor is for pneumatic tools? So I'm sure you've seen me use my hose reel here with my uh, little blower majig. So th this hoses will give me different spots where I can hook up with, uh, comp with the uh, air compressor all throughout the shop. Rather than just relying on one central hose reel, I have multiple spots in the workshop so I'm not dragging hose all over the place. Um, you'll see a lot of this type of stuff in like uh, auto garages and stuff like that. Uh, some higher end wood shops and stuff like that. Um, even lower end work, work, uh, wood shops. So uh, they'll have the airlines all over the place. Um, it'll just give you, so you don't have to have, you know, 50 feet of air hose that you have to trip over um, while you're uh, while you're working. Anybody want to come over here and help real quick? Could use an extra hand. Lettuce. You're not afraid of heights, are you? Uh, no. Well, that's the thing. I actually have only a little small two tank uh, Craftsman air compressor right now. Um, my, uh, my, so Jan, my air compressor, if you see, here, let me get a bigger, bigger shot. So right on the other side of this wall right here, Uh, on the other side of this wall is a little outcropping building uh, that's my uh, pump room for my well. Um, and I have my air compressor in that little room and the hose coming straight through the wall. So you, yeah, I, I'm not going to, I don't have to worry about the noise because it's over there. That one's super loud and you can't ever hear it. Um, but uh but yeah, so it's always, it's on the other side of the wall there, so you don't ever have to hear it. Oh. Um, so let us uh, mention what a, so my compressor's uh, just a small little two tank compressor. Um, and I will need to upgrade. Uh, to a bigger one because this is a lot of piping for this little compressor to uh, take care of. Well, it's all where it connects to the uh, to the compressor. So I had to do some finagling. Let me show you.
compressor. Yes. I will need a bigger compressor. Maybe like a 60 gallon. Depends on what my budget allows me. So you see here as my blue pipe gets in the way. No pun intended. So right here Going through here is my compressor on the other side of this wall. And I have a hose coming through here to the filter and uh, uh, my PSI gauge here. But this, this, was, this whole setup right here was given to me. So this gauge doesn't work. I need to replace the gauge. But with this system, the way it's designed, this is the connection they give you to go to your compressor. Well, I had to go and get a whole mess of fittings to bring it down to this size to go into here because this setup already had spots for three uh, connections in it. Um, this may or may not have can't come off of a United States naval vessel. I can never, neither confirm nor deny that. It might have been thrown in the trash and somebody took it out and gave it to me. I cannot confirm nor deny that. Um, but there was a port on the top of here, so I just used some reducers to get down to this. Oh, no, no, no. So, yeah, this comes straight from there. I got a nice little on-off, uh, valve right there. Um. But once we get everything piped in, we'll see if I have any leaks and if I have to tighten anything. But uh, with this right here, this fitting right here that my hand's on, this is supposed to go directly into your uh, another uh, filter, PSI gauge, whatever you want to call it, your regulator. Yeah, regulator. Regulators, mount up uh, to your bigger air compressors. This is meant to be used on bigger air compressors. Um, but I'm making it work right now. So you'll see the blue piping there, uh, that I've already started to run. And all of those, the blue piping goes into here and you have connection points right there for your couplings. And then each one of these has a little blow out on the bottom so when uh, condensation builds up you can just blow it out right there at the uh, at the points which is pretty nice I hope that made sense And when, if you ever do a uh, airline system, there you go. Here to help Sasaki. It's always nice to have like that little uh, valve right there, a shutoff, uh, so you can turn off your entire system if need be from one central spot in your workshop. So it's always nice to have a little, a little shut off right here at the beginning of your, uh, of your line. So you, if you need to, you can shut it off the whole thing uh, real quick in case you have a, a blowout or something, where if something starts leaking, you're not having to go out there, disconnect it from the main compressor or anything. Oh, well, I have seen those, Frank, uh, but budget right now is not allowing 
for all that fancy stuff, but I can always add it in later. So with the compressor I have right now, I will not be able to run an impact wrench. I, I cannot run a impact off the compressor I have right now. Okay, let's get back up there and get this massive line ran. Lettuce, I thought you were coming over to help. Where are you at, bud? Everyone heard you said you were gonna come over and help. Isn't that right, everyone? Yes, pirate, that's what Lettuce said. <laughs> You're so kind there, Lettuce. Ugh. up there <laughs> does he know you're gonna be picking him up <sighs> is he aware of the boondoggle that you've got him into inquiring minds must know So impact wrenches are good for auto repair. Um, that's what a majority of people use them for. We're getting there. Oh, I, th 
think I I overmeasured, but that's okay. I'd rather be extra long than not enough. Oh. Now where to put the coupling? Y'all can't even see what I'm doing over here. Say, pirate, move the camera. What you doing to us, pirate? You're not letting us see it. So I'm thinking, if I put this right here, that way the lathe doesn't uh, kick up stuff and get it in there if I don't have anything hooked up to it. So that's what I will do. I know, I know. I told you I'm winging it. Well, each one of these has a... Okay, well, go ahead and just pop out of there. Uh, has a little valve on the bottom to uh, release water out of each little uh, connector. So that's a nice feature. Where's my cutter? Because I don't need this length. over here. What was that? Oh, the T-fitting. Okay, I hear you on that. Um, let's see. didn't cut straight. That's why. There's already a valve on it, Russ, uh, on the bottom of it. I will c eventually connect a, a little bit of hose to it um, in the future so it doesn't just dump right there on the wall. Um, but for the time being, I don't plan on accumulating a bunch of water at the, 
Oh, did you now? Let me let me check my uh, my uh, redemption t stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember putting that on there, bad dad. Uh, so yeah, I think you're trying to do some stuff, some hinky stuff over there. It's separate, completely separate. You gotta put them on the, put them on a piece of machinery. All right. Oh, you're welcome. You uh, you earned them, buddy. Oh, you know, bad dad, you keep on putting in suggestions in there for some doubloon redemptions that uh, are just not going to happen. Oh, man. So this is the kit that comes from Rapid Air. Oh, that didn't get in there far enough. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It is, it does have an aluminum uh, in it. It's, uh, it does have a, that poly core, but then it has a wall of aluminum and then the, the blue, I guess, pecs on the outside, but it's rated up to, yeah, it's pretty rigid. Um, it takes a little bit to, uh, here, let's see. Yes. Hey, thank you for the host, Buck Naked. So, hey, hey, imagine how you doing? Timber new. What's going on? So, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a cross cut of it. Um, you can see, yeah, you can see the aluminum in there, but uh, that's the uh, cross cut of uh, what I'm using. Yes.
<laughs> it was. Raid. It does a host. How's everyone doing today? Timber anew in the house. We got Imagine and Buck coming in. How's everyone doing today? We're just doing some silly uh, airline install. I need to cut this shorter because this is just giving me the hell of a time. I'm just going to keep on cutting that shorter and shorter until I get what I need to do. Uh, so we're putting in airlines for my compressor in the workshop. Pure excitement has been had. <laughs> it's okay, Buck. You're here. That's all that matters. And you brought some friends with you. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, what were you doing there, uh, Buck? What were you working on today? Well, I think it was bad, Dad. Uh, all those redemptions that people saw that he was trying to finagle in. And they wanted to get in on it too. I think that's what it was. Disassembly of hard drives. What were you disassembling them for? Yeah, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to break the bank. Okay. Oh. Man. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but the kit just uh lunchtime stream test well what i cut off there is not going to do me any good At the Twitter, at Obsessed Pirate, follow me on Twitter. Twitter? Oh. 
Oh, man. So I was going to put this last one over by my, my drill press, but I'm so cluttered over there, I don't know. But if I put it right here... And I can hook up and have that rest of the area over there. I think that's what I'll do. B R B. That means be right back. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it could. I mean, I hear everything that goes in the chat except my channel point redemptions. Uh, the only thing I don't hear is the channel point redemptions. If you put a link in the chat, my TTS reads every bit of that link that you put in the chat. Every bit of it. No. Because there's been quite a few times that people have put some extensive links in the chat and my dang TTS reads it all off. Ugh. Y'all are so kind to me. Uh, probably. Confused? Don't don't give them too big of a head. I have a few. Oh, man. But right now, one of my mods is streaming, so she is, she's doing her thing. <laughs> I think that's the best thing about being in the military is when you get to a command, you only have to be, it's not like 
you have to worry about a bunch of idiots, like in the real world. You have to just deal with the same idiots every day at work. And then you switch commands, and then you have to get used to some new idiots. Because I've done my fair share. Buck's back. Because I've done my fair share of uh, customer service work. about you buck we didn't think you would ever come back but it was like oh no buck's gone he hasn't come back yet because it's exactly what happened ask me and i'll tell you Uh, it's exactly that. It's the piping for this air hose. Uh. I wanted to go over the other one. Son of a biscuit. Lettuce said he was coming over to help, but he hasn't shown up yet. I thought it was very mean of him to say, yeah, I'll be right over. And then he doesn't show up. Christmas. He is mean. Oh. This stuff's kicking my ass. didn't happen.
I'll tell you what, I said it was nice outside, but man, wrestling with this, wrestling with this blue snake here has worked me up a good sweat. Free fixes. <sighs> Pirates tuckered. Yeah. We got a little pirate. I'm just here to ask you what you want to eat. Helper in the house, that's right. I'm just here to ask you what he wants to eat. Everyone's saying hello. Hello, please. Just tell me what you want to eat. Why, what's for dinner? What yes. Do you want? Who asked? Mom. Mom? Yes. Well, tell mom I want food. There was a dog. I know, right? That's what I want. I want food. No. Tell her I want food. No. What kind of food? Good food. Oh no, this one will eat pizza rolls every breakfast, lunch, and dinner if we would let her. And dessert. And dessert. What type of food? <sighs> good food. What type of good food? I don't know. What's your mother want? She asked me what did you want it. Yes, exactly. Kind you eat. Um, ask her if she wants to cook or order food. You're done with me. She's done with me. My own child. I'm done with you. Oh. You know, this little pirate does one stream out here and leaves her stuff everywhere. Yeah, 
she is done with me. Ugh. Oh. Oh, hook this up and then see if we have any leaks. There's a leak in the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My battery's died. I do. I got one leak there. Dad, can I have one of those blue things you gave to Emma? I, I uh, I know I saw that book. Oh. Hey, can you run inside and go get me some batteries? I need some AA batteries, please. Thank you. Yeah, go get me some AA batteries. Oh my goodness, my batteries are dying. I need more Amazon batteries. Whew. I need to redo some tightening on some fittings. I got some air escaping. Not good.
Okay. All right, we're back. Uh, I moved the camera. Can I have the tube? Can I have the tube? Yeah, hold on. They, they want a dog. That's fine. I don't want a dog. Do you want me to order you sushi? Sure. Do you want two box roll? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, man. Little pirate man. For the win, that's right. Hold on, buddy. Uh, no, I had to move the camera because the wife doesn't like being on camera. Yes. It is bare feet, that little turd. Okay. One would think. But he's like, I don't got a splinter, I'm okay. Okay, let's get some air through here again. Man, that's leaking. Why is that leaking? There's a leak in the boat.
It's a letter. <laughs> All right, let's see if I fix that leak. The air just pouring out of this. Is it like that on all these? That's nice and tight. That one's good. That one's good. I need to come out here with a a squirt bottle and uh, with some soapy water in it and spray it on all these fittings. Because I know that one up there is uh, is leaking. But we're gonna have to find somebody to raid due to the fact. The wife just ordered food. It's about that time. Yeah, so if you take a uh, little squirt bottle with soapy water in it and uh, <laughs> you just take a little soapy water in a squirt bottle and put it on the little joints and if it bubbles, there's a leak. We will go over Y'all are so nice to me. Uh, 
Yes. I will have a good weekend. I'll probably be back out here tomorrow. We're going to go over and raid uh, Calamity Cat. Oh, you're welcome. You, thanks everyone for being here and everybody for the resubs and, uh, and uh, I appreciate everyone hanging around while I fiddled with the blue snake in the workshop. So we're going to go over and give uh, Calamity Cat a raid. Oh, man, I'm tuckered. All right, let's go see what Calamity Cat is up to. Yes, fighting Blue Snake. No end windows whatsoever. All right, let's go see what Calamity Cat's up to.